Welcome, Annie Collins here for the Imagine Crafts Joy Claire Designs Collaborative Hop. These two companies have come together along with their design teams to create some amazing projects for this hop. So let's go over some of the products I used to create the card today. We'll, we'll start with Imagine Crafts. I used a fireworks spray in Ladybug, Summer Sky, Dandelion, and Bamboo Leaves. These are beautiful colorful inks sprays with some shimmer to them. All you have to do is shake them um, to incorporate the shimmer. Before you use it, just give it a good shake and then once it's all incorporated, go ahead and spray it onto your project. We'll also be using Creative Medium in Metallic Gold. This is a texture paste and it dries to a beautiful shine. We'll be using some VersaFine Claire in Nocturne. This is a nice rich dark ink and we'll be using emboss powder in clear because I'll be embossing our stamp set today. This is Joy Claire's Love Indoors stamp set. I'll be using the three leaf um, images and the Give Thanks sen sentiment. I have a layering stencil and a spatula knife. And I have some Strathmore cold press watercolor paper. That's what we'll be using for our fireworks spray. And some accent. Oh, and I'm also going to be embossing on that as well. Um, some accent 80-pound um, cardstock, and that's what we'll be using our texture paste on. And a side folding 110-pound brown card base. So, and that's an A2 card base. All right, so let's get started on our project. I'm going to go ahead and take our layering stencil and tape our stencil to the um, our paper, our cardstock. This is the accent 80-pound smooth um, cardstock. I'm going to use a palette knife to smooth on our texture paste through the stencil. So this is the first layer and it's just a um, solid image of the leaves. The second layer of this stencil gives the detail, the veining of the leaves. So I'm going to now place the second layer on and smooth some more of the texture paste. However, you can let your layers dry and use different color texture paste. Um, this this Texture paste comes in a variety of colors, um, but I didn't want to do that. I just wanted it gold on gold, and then I'm going to peel it off, and I'm going to quickly rinse off my um, texture, no, my palette knife and my stencil. I'm going to set my panel off to the side to dry while we work on our spray panel. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. I lost the footage for this, but I'm going to quickly tell you how I did it. I just spray the um, ladybug and bamboo leaves dried it, then the summer sky and dandelion, and then dried it. Just sprayed in between layers until I had it to the, to the um, coloration that I wanted. Once both panels are completely dry, I'm going now to stamp on our sprayed panel. I'm going to put this in my stamping platform so that I can get a nice um, coverage of our leaves here and I'm going to put all our leaves in at once and what's great about creating your own sprayed panels like this is you can decide where you can put your leaves and you know or images and have whatever background colors you like. So I put some anti-static powder down so that I can stamp my leaves with the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink because I'll be embossing them with the clear embossing powder. I stamped it a couple times just so that I can get all the details in and get that nice rich black color that I want. I'm going to put some embossing powder on there, shake off the excess, and then I'll heat set it with my heat tool. And I'll do this a couple times till I have a total of four leaves, two larger leaves and a two um, medium and small leaf. And I'll stamp two of the larger leaf. So I'm going to go, I'm going to stamp again my large leaf. And then I'll be fussy cutting these leaves out. So I'm going to once again place it on that cardstock. And this is a great way to create lots of fun, different colors and shimmery cardstock for your and textures for your for your projects. All right, so I'm going to add a little more embossing powder there. Make sure I get nice even coverage, and I'll heat set it. I like to heat from the bottom before the top. It helps minimize the warping of my paper although I do still get some warping but it minimizes some. Once I'm done fussy cutting all my leaves 
here we can start working on our project. So I'm going to trim, no, before I trim my project down, I'm going to stamp our sentiment. I have the same piece, another piece of that same accent, um, 80 pound cardstock, and I'm going to stamp our sentiment. I'm using the large scripty sinks that comes in the set, in the stamp set. And I'm using the Versafine Claire Nocturne ink once again. And there's a tiny little give word in there. And I'm trying to nestle it between the, the top loop of the H and the top loop of the K. Once I have it there, where I want it, I'm going to pick it up with my block, ink it up, and stamp it in there. And then I'll trim this down, the sentiment panel down. So first I'm going to trim down my um, stenciled panel. I'm going to trim it down to four by five and a quarter so that I have a nice quarter inch, um, well, yeah, eighth of an inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. <laughs> yeah, I, I can math <laughs> around <laughs> frame on our card. <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyway, I'm trimming our sentiment down and I trimmed it to a nice little square and then I'm going to cut it on an angle on one end. This is so that I can nestle it beautifully between our leaves. All right, so I'm going to bring in some Imagine Crafts Tarot Tape to place to adhere our um, stenciled panel to our card base. And I'm, plenty, ugh, I'm applying plenty of tape because our panel did warp just a little bit. And that's from all the heat setting. If I would just let it be, it would just um, lay flat. But since I was in a rush and I put the heat tool to it, it kind of warped it a little bit. So the tarot tape helps with that. So once I get all the backing um, liner off, we will adhere this to our card base. And there's going to be a drum roll moment here. Wait for it. Here it comes. I lay this panel down straight for the first time. If you follow me and you know me, me and straight, mm, mm, we don't go so so well. We try, but mm, I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and arrange my leaves here. And then I'm going to adhere my leaves and my sentiment using a low profile foam tape. So I'm going to grab some foam tape real quick and I'm going to put it on the back of my sentiment. And I'll place that to the upper right hand corner. Be sure, and look, even the sentiment's straight. What? So then I'm going to start adhering our leaves here, and I'm going to make sure I turn them different directions because they're falling leaves. I'm going to arrange those there. I want the smaller one in the corner and then the, the medium one more towards the right. <clears throat> applying my last leaf here with some foam tape. And I'm trying to nestle them and I'm going to move this one over just a tad because it's a little too, oh, a little bit too much to the left. Okay, so there we have our finished card. I'm not going to put anything extra on this card because there's so much beautiful shine and shimmer from the texture paste and all the details from those leaves from that stamp set. It's just gorgeous. So. Here again, let's go over what we use. We use a layering st stencil with our texture paste, which is a creative medium in metallic gold, fireworks sprays in summer sky, dandelion, ladybug, and bamboo leaves. To Joy Claire Design Designs Love Endures stamp set for our for our sentiment and our beautiful leaves. Versa Fine Claire ink for our um, stamping and embossing powder in clear and Imagine Crafts Tarot Tape to put it all together. I hope you hop along with us so you can see all the amazing pro projects from both design teams and I hope you found some inspiration here today. Once again, here's our card.